Good day people, it's Nick here and it's round 8 of the F1 2010 Blundering series and from Canada in, uh, well Montreal in Canada. It's a street circuit. I'm in a bit of a hole in this championship at the moment. I started off quite well but um, the last three rounds have been pretty disastrous. In Spain, round 5, I qualified 10th, finished 18th, no points. In Monaco, I qualified 17th and had an alarming crash did not finish, no points. And in Turkey, the last race, round seven, qualified fourth, had a 10 place grid penalty, and ended up ninth. So I'm gonna see if I can turn off tire wear, because I my um my ability seems to have dropped, and I don't think I can. Deary me. I think I might have tried this before. Oh, so I'm stuck with a difficulty. Great. Yeah, there's no way I can change this. So um yes, I'm up my own devices here to try and win. But anyway. In Canada, the real race in 2010 was run by Lewis Hamilton. Second was Button, third was Alonso in the Ferrari. Fastest lap was Robert Kubica in the Renault with a 116.972. And pole position was Lewis Hamilton with 115.105. This is the practice session. Now, I think what I'm going to need to do, because every time you do a lap, your tyres wear out a bit. And I've been struggling with tyre wear in the last three races. I've been doing too many laps in practice and qualifying. I think I need to limit myself. Yeah, but Hamilton's got a huge lead in this championship now. He's on 144 points. Second is Weber in the Red Bull on 94, so that's 50 points gap. Bear in mind, you do get 25 points for a win. Third is Vettel, also on 94 points, but he's won one less race than Webber, Weber, so he's a place third. And I'm in fourth from 72, so half the points of Lewis. Great. And I've got the two Ferraris behind him, that's Alonso, right. This track reminds me a little bit of Albert Park in Australia, which I didn't do too badly on. So hopefully I can gain a bit, but really, I need a big succession of wins. I don't know if that's likely. And I need Lewis Hamilton to have a few races where uh, he doesn't get any points at all. Now, I don't wish badness on my teammate, but if we was coming together on the first corner, and he went off a bit like that, and went from first to last, that's just a racing incident. I didn't do it on Barbos, and it was just a coincidence. Yeah, it's quite a short lap round here, so it should be quite easy to learn. This is a good overtaking position into here. Very um, tight first gear U-bend corner, as we're behind Shandok. So this is all about learning the track. As I say now, the practice session will probably be a bit shorter now in video length and qualifying, because I've clocked onto it. I can't turn tyre wear off, so I've got to do less laps. You know, there we go. This is a very tough corner to get right. Cor warning, corner cutting. Now, I had a bit of a problem in the last race cutting corners. And I think that's why I got a bit of a, um, a grid penalty. So I don't want to do that again. So best to go wide. Now, you can cut some corners, but not be blatant about it and go over grass. Anyway. I think a pole here on the promo is going to be round about 118, something like that. So I need to be doing something in that area. And the real uh, race pole was got by Hamilton for 115.105. If I was on expert or legend mode, then it'd probably be doing that. But I'm not up to that quite yet. Hmm. Maybe one day, but I'm a long way off. And I want to keep this at least interesting. And it's starting to... Um, yes. It's starting to look bleak, so I need to win races. I've only won one race so far. And we're in round eight. And that was the very first one in Bahrain. I was thereabouts of various other races. Yeah. But last three in particular, I'm really losing it. Hmm. I often say I hope for a bit of rain, because in China that was my sole pole position. Could be my only pole position in the whole championship, but let's not be a doom merchant about it. Generally in each practice session, I drive around on the default setup, and then I look at my times compared to everyone else, because generally they're a bit slower, and I look at a setup online, Yes, I know, it's not the best thing to do. You, sh you should set it up in the way you drive. Anyway, I set up set online, hoping to get a bit of extra time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But we'll try the default setup first of all. But I don't want to run out of fuel going around the lap, because uh, if you're caught blocking anyone, then you get the uh, five grid penalty, which I can't fall down, because I need to be as high up as I can. As soon as you're in traffic on this game, trying to cut through people on a reduced distance race, because these are 30%, then you start getting into big, big trouble. 
So, Red Bull are slowly getting into this championship. They had a slow start, but I think now they're the quickest car. Just like the, uh, the real 2010 season, which at the end was won by Sebastian Vettel. At the moment, he's in third place on 94. I think he's going to get gradually even quicker. He's level with his teammate now, Weber, also on 94. Uh, I think he's going to start winning races unless I can do something. Alonso back in sixth on 43 points. Surprisingly, 20 points away from his teammate Massa. But in this championship so far, some of his pit shot strategies have been very questionable. I don't think the crew can handle a 30% race distance. Right. Looks his quickest. And I'm quickest. That's quite, that's quite a good first lap. I'm pleased with that. Good. So it could go okay all of a sudden. There's Petrov, who had a bit of a ding-dong battle with in uh, Turkey, Istanbul. Don't want him messing about this. Oh, there we go on the outside. I think this is going to be a lot of this going on. Back off, Petrov. Yeah, he's going to stay near me. This is when I start going wrong. Although that is quicker. When I've got someone behind me, I often crack under pressure and go wide and do stupid stuff. But this lap's even quicker than the last one, so there's time to be had. And this is just a default setup, remember. Look, looking promising so far. Can't see any of the big boys have gone out. Al Jaswari's second in the Toro Rosso. Kobayashi's third in the BMW. Fourth Lutzi so far in practice in the Force India. Looks like we've got another tenth there. But the trickiest bit on this circuit is this last corner. I have seen online people taking it in practically full speed. If you, if you get it wrong, you get done for corner cutting, and that's when the penalties can go in. It's, it doesn't look like rain at all, does it? It's cloudy, but no rain imminent. There we go, it's a corner here. There's the wall of champions, which uh, most cars get quite close to, to try and edge out each time. Good, that's a, big, that's a big chunk again. I'd like to see Lewis Hamilton or some Red Bull times flare up there. This is looking good so far, but I don't want to do too many laps here. These tyres are precious to me. I need them in the race. I mean, in Turkey, I started um, the race on tyres that had, was 75% worn. And I, I suspect the computer AI starts off with 100% tyres. And as soon as the track starts rubbering in, i.e. getting better grip, they was leaving me behind. Especially in Turkey, I should have done better there if I preserved the tyres more. Hamilton's gone quickest, it looks there. Oh dear. <laughs> it was short-lived, it was short-lived, wasn't it? Oh, Massa's gone quicker than me as well in the Ferrari. Might need an extra set up there, but we'll see what this time is. Yeah, I'm slower. There's a lot of time that can be had in this last corner, though. Down in the third. So only two of the big boys have gone around, a Ferrari and a McLaren, and they are both quicker than me. It was short-lived, wasn't it? Okay. Hamilton quickest. That's not what I wanted to see. Let's see if we can take... No. Corner cutting. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that was a lot quicker, but only because I cut that corner completely. I think we've got probably about one lap left of this before the fuel starts going. Let's really go for it here. It's all about not breaking too much and gliding into the corner, especially this one. It's a little bit blind, slightly wide, probably carry a bit more speed through there. But let's see what the first split's going to be. I've learnt the track quite quickly. It's quicker, just. That was good. That was a good corner. Get the speed down early. Still holding for Petrov's gone fifth. I'm down into fourth. So I presume that's one of the Red Bulls that have gone second. But quite often, the cars will improve from session to session, the race and qualifying. But uh, we'll keep with this setup, I think. I don't think we'll mess with it. A second quicker! Awesome! We'll keep with this setup. I don't think we'll mess with it this time. This is suiting my driving style brilliantly. The ride height's probably a bit high. We can lower that, but I won't do. Because if there's some rain later on, we'll be able to take advantage of that. So this, this looks the best of both worlds. As long as I don't mess up this last corner, car in front of me but I don't think it's going to cause too much trouble. Whoop, brushed the wall but got away with it. Just going to be quickest. No. I thought I was going to go quicker there. I'm up into third. So first uh, Hamilton, my teammate in the McLaren. Second Mark Webber in the Red Bull. Third myself in the other McLaren. Uh, Massa fourth Ferrari. 
I'm competitive. I'm competitive. Seems to be getting a bit darker here. Not sh That's quicker again. I'm, I'm taking big chunks out of this. I'm sure the track's coming to me. But I can't have too many more laps before we run out of fuel here. But they will announce it when the fuel's running a bit low. Car in front of me. It's either Kubitska or Petrov. It's the Polish guy, Robert Kubitska. Might be able to dive around the inside if this works out. I don't think it's going to work out, is it? Right, here we go. Cut back in again. Oh, God, that was amazing. I somehow got away with that. This is going to be quicker again. Getting quicker every lap here. This is quite confident for qualifying. I'm not going to be last. I'm not going to struggle, I don't think. Robert's right behind me. He's in my slipstream. Don't do anything crazy. Good. Look at the timing. Quickest. Quickest by a... I was one point... Oh, look at that. A huge mess of time quicker than my last lap. I'm really happy now. I need Lewis Hamilton to be a bit further down. Uh, the McLaren working well here, it seems. Both me and my teammate got a first row lockout if this was qualifying, which it isn't. So this is all academic. This is just practice, remember. And I'm quicker again. Oh, my God. I want to keep this car out as long as I can. Quicker again. Definitely getting more confident on this track about what you can do. Going under the shadows. Great. This is going to be quicker. Right, a car's right in the wrong place again. But even more in the wrong place this time. Breaking and close right up on him. Yeah, that, that slap gone. Probably come in now. But I know there's probably about another half a second there at least. Great stuff. We'll come in, we'll come in. As I say, I don't want to ruin these tyres too much. Although I think qualifying's more of a more of a situation. Practice probably doesn't matter how many laps you do, to be honest. Quite a quick run in of the um, pits. I could go in quicker than that. Great, first. This hasn't happened for quite a while in practice. If you're a watcher of the practice sessions. Thank you. But desperate times. It's certainly a crisis point in the championship. There's 19 rounds. But Lewis has been finishing in the top three every time, really. And that's what's caused the problem. Need Red Bulls to start taking some points off him. And I need to be ahead of the Red Bulls. Is that too much to ask? Right, first. So I'm quickest. Track could get quicker. Yeah, yeah. look at that. I'm 1.3 seconds quicker than second place Hamilton. 52% chance of rain in the race. That, hmm... Could help me if I get a bad qualifying position, mixing it up. But if I'm in the lead, I certainly don't want that to happen. There's, there's no need. There's no need for me to mess with the, with the setup. Car could possibly go quicker if I, if I do that. But then it's handling really well. I'll be very surprised if I carry this forward into qualifying in the race. Something weird's going on here. Schumacher fifth quicker than Vettel. Ah, now Vettel has gone quicker. It's gone ahead of Hamilton. We've accelerated time, if you haven't noticed. Hamilton third. Need the Ferraris to start getting involved. Get ahead of him. Mercedes seventh and eighth. Schumacher and Rosberg. I don't know if we'll go out again at all. Maybe go out for one last session. But I don't need to. Look, I've learnt the lap. 1.2 seconds quicker than Vettel. Generally in practice, I'm about 1.6 to 4.5 seconds slower. Let's have a look at it anyway. And this is a default setup, so it puts everything in the middle. Don't really want to mess with this braking. Medium standard. It's a pretty safe setup. Very safe. Seems quite difficult to overtake here, apart from the tight uh, corners. Easy to take a wing off if you dive in. A few long straights, but There's a lot of tight bends. Half an hour left. So I think this is going to end up being a shorter practice than normal. Because normally it's me going around struggling to try and find time to get something. Here I'm quick straight away. Here's a race win on the cards, dare I say. But if I win and Hamilton comes second, I'm only going to gain 7 points on him. <laughs> so I'll still be about 60 odd points behind. So some sort of miracles are required. Unless, as I said before, we uh, will come together and he goes off into the gravel and comes uh, last or crashes. But that won't happen. Yes. 
Gear ratios, we'll keep them the same, they're working quite well around here. Engine, you can do a standard um, or fast throttle map. Don't quite understand what that means. If it's the, sp the cogs or the speed the gears change up. And we'll keep everything the same, all in the middle. This is the bit where I do a setup in practice and qualify and it works well. And I go into the race and it's all hopeless. And everyone's about two seconds a lap quicker than me. 18.1. Now I think, I think if I can replicate that in qualifying, I think that could be near pole position. Definitely near front of the grid. Let's accelerate this, see if anyone gets any quicker. 1.2 seconds, still quicker than Vettel and Weber in the Red Bull. Hamilton 1.3, that's huge. Lonzo now has got past Massa, in practice at least. Petrov in 10th in the Renault. Not too much movement. A lot of the cars are in the pits, you can see by the red pit uh, notice. Weber's out on track. See, I've only done six laps. Weber's done 19 now. Really saving my tyres, I'm thinking ahead. Hamilton's done 21 laps. 10 minutes to go. We'll go out again. We'll go out again, but it, it looks unlikely that anyone's going to go quicker than me. I mean, I can imagine them going a few temps quicker. The weather hasn't improved. But they're not going to go 1.2 seconds quicker. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Is this when my season gets back on track? We can only hope. I'm surprised I'm still alive after that huge, huge crash in Monaco. If you haven't seen that, it's quite a short video. Watch Monaco race. It happens on maybe lap two or lap three. I catch the end of a car and I go into space. Almost. Yeah, no one could have survived that one. But I was back racing the next day. Good. This game's a lot more fun when you're doing well. I'll say that for you. The grip's quite good in the race near the end, or in the middle, or after lap four, because it is presented race distance. The tyres do tend to start going off and it's a struggle. Although, in the last few races, my tyres seem to be going off a lot quicker than the computer AI. I think there's cheating at work. Couldn't hang on to anything. Right, this isn't looking good for clear space, but at least uh, give me some practice and overtaking. We've got Bruno Senna in the HRT and Vettel, so... Yeah, hopefully that HRT ruins Seb Slap. <laughs> I'm very sporting, I know, he's eased off now. He's trying to get a bit of space. As all good Formula 1 drivers do. So I might be stuck behind him here. But I don't need to go any quicker. Let's see how cars are going around here. Not overly quick. Oh, he's pulled over. No, that must be the racing line. I like the inside, he's gone outside. I right, remember that then. I was on the wrong line. Yeah, this isn't going to be anything. This HRT is going to ruin my lap. Might come in straight away, but I'm just doing a showy offy lap now. Vettel second still, Weber third, Hamilton fourth fastest. So if this was qualifying, which it isn't, he'll be on the second row of the grid. Hopefully someone behind him will get a quicker start and get past him and knock him down the order. But this McLaren is very fast. Red Bull gradually getting quicker, and a very slow start to the championship, but you can see them coming back in. So whoever programmed this, Codemasters, you've done a brilliant job. Great game, great game. Corner cutting, watch that Nicky. You can't do that too many, or else you could get pole and a five grid penalty, if you don't want. It's all about uh, pitch strategy here as well. Sometimes you'll get a car that I hang out very, very late, the Utsi does it, and sometimes Pedro de la Rosa, so uh, they try and get an advantage. Because when you pit on this shortened race distance, you're always going to get caught in traffic and held up. So if you pit early, uh, then you're stuck in traffic, while someone in the lead's got clear track and they're getting chunks of time, they come in and can come out in front of you comfortably. That happened to me a bit with Lewis Hamilton in China, where I ended up coming second, where I really should have won the race if I come in a lap after him. There we go, I'm not bitter. That was a pit crew thing. But you can change your strategy during the race by hitting the green triangle button on this PlayStation version. PlayStation 3. There we go, and uh, by hitting the arrows, you can change what pit suits, what tyres you want before. That's a shame, I was quicker, but because that car's in the way, so there's, there's time to come on this you can select your tires before you come into the pits if you don't do that say it starts raining and you don't do that and come out they 
the idiots will put on slicks again. Yeah, no intelligence. We'll come in now, save this set of tyres. It's been a great practice session, probably my best practice session so far in the championship. So if you were losing faith in me in the last three races, hopefully you've kept on board. It's all about building the excitement so you never know. Those three bad races might make it more exciting rather than me run away with it. That's what I hope anyway. Do you hope that? Let's hope so. Let's, let's start showing off here. First place. It looks like the order's going to stay roughly the same unless the Ferraris break into it. But the Ferraris have been very disappointing so far in this blundering championship. They're not doing anything. I expect Alonso to win at least a race or so or do something, but he's nowhere. Hello, pit crew. Start um, polishing the car for qualifying later on. Qualifying will be later on this evening. So if you watch this, it might already be up already. So check that out and hopefully we'll get a good position, i.e. pole position. I owe it to you. I owe it to you. Right, five cars. Four cars are out on track of the 24. See, prime tyres 94% wear. So I've only used 6% wear. 118.1. 1.2. Uh, they're not going to get 1.2 seconds quicker. This is my most impressive practice display so far. Massa's quicker than Alonso. That's surprising. But you never know how quick they're going in practice or how much they're trying. Boom! Yes, there we go. That's the end of the session. Fantastic first place in practice. Brilliant. Great. So this a tentative, for qualifying. a tentative hooray then. So first place for me, one eighteen point one. There we go. So thanks for watching that. Please join me for qualifying. That's when the action really starts later on. Until then, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.